Welcome to the Weasley Update. I'm Aiden Weiss. I am in, uh, I'm in the Stormtrooper and I'm ready to fucking ramble. This is episode number 12. We're recording this on May 12th of 2020 and I'm here with Derek fucking Tebow. Yo. What is up, dude? What's up, man? It's so fucking cool that we're doing this again. I know, this is two in a row. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, I thought the last one went pretty well. I enjoyed listening back to it. I had a fun time, and, you know, we're already hanging anyway tonight. Why fucking not, you know? Yeah, seriously. Well, like I said, we're in the, the Civic, the fucking Stormtrooper. I don't think we should necessarily say our destination, but we're taking a long fucking drive, dude. Yeah, we're, we're traveling to... Why don't we could say it? It was some, like, farmland area. Yeah. Uh, I think west of us. That's, that's all we'll say. What was that fucking long-ass drive we did, not uh, last year, but the year before when I came up and visited Beeham? Um, up some mountain. Where the fuck was that? I don't remember. It got snowy. It was sick, though. And we had to, we turn, had to turn around. around. Yeah. That was so fucking cool. We were just chilling in your apartment. We, so I actually door. don't think there was a destination. I think that we just, like, kept driving. And eventually, really? we got up to some snow and shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think we typed anything in. I thought it was, like, going to be a state park or something for some reason. No, because I was going to say Chuck and I at first, but I know it wasn't Chuck oh, and I. Oh, no, because it was way farther away. It was that. way further away, and, like, it, it's not going to snow on Chuck and I. So, like, I I think Mount Vernon, maybe. I guess that could be completely wrong, sense. but, I yeah, I, I don't really know at all. But it was fun, for sure. That was a really fun, fun day. I only visited Beeham, like, five times that year. That was far, you know, I'm sure we had fun each time, but I once I depart from Beham, I hope to never visit there again, so, I, uh, I think it's geographically a cool place, I have some friends up there for sure, people that I like, but an overwhelming majority of it is stuff that I don't think I'd want to surround myself with to, like, live, you know, permanently, I, I, I like North Bend, I like the people here, uh, uh, it's a little rough being a guy that like carries a gun or or likes certain things over there because there's a lot of judgment and and people that are like you know super woke and shit and I'm not really a big fan of those guys so yeah dude me neither it's fucking really bad like that up there it's fucking bad I just I all my boys are in North Bend you know besides you know Sam Burrow shout out don't know if we'll hear it but um <laughs> Maybe he will one day for sure. But yeah, he's up there. I like him. There's a couple other guys I like up there. But um, like most of my boys are down here. So. I fucking love Burrs. I don't see enough of that guy. Yeah, well, me neither. It was fun living up there with him for the last little bit, but not quarantine. You know, I'm at North Bend. He's up there. So, you know, you don't yeah, see Yeah, seriously. Well, I'm excited to record with him on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy, too. We got at least two songs we're recording on Saturday. Uh, I'm not going to tell say much about it, but you know, there's been there's been a group called the Blunt Boys. It was established in in 2017. It consists of me and my boy Sam Burrows, and uh, we've been kind of talking about it for a long time. You know, trying some shit out, experimenting, working in the lab, and we finally cooked something up that we think you know is is worthy of putting out. So we're we're putting out three songs. Uh, uh, as our introductory, introductory, fuck, I don't, can't say it, I'm too high, but like our first album, EP, whatever you want to call it, coming out probably like a month or two. I don't really want to put a date on it. It's just the creative process will just kind of go as it will, but it's happening soon. I am so far. First recording session Saturday, hoping to get at least one of those three songs done. Maybe start working on the second. We're both cooking up verses for the third right now. It's sounding pretty hot. Um, been testing it out on a few people i've gotten some good responses uh i've just been really working on my craft i know burrs has too and i think we're ready to kind of sh- it show the world naturally to burrs are you shitting me yeah you know it, it seems that way but maybe i just think there's a lot of work behind the scenes too man like burrs he's about that life you know he fucking he does grind music. on that he, shit he grinds on that shit you know we see the finished product a lot of time and it seems to come natural but 
that might be the sign of a guy who's you know just working his ass off. It's it's pretty crazy how how far he's come since moving up there and really starting to take music seriously. He's an incredible musician. Like I got a I got a bust ass and like really worked super hard to even like come close to him. Like his verses, like I'll even admit it, definitely better than mine. You know he's got a, like a, a cadence that's so unique. And I'm just trying to. He, it's cool though because it, it it pushes me to do better. So I really enjoy the kind of vibe we've been cooking up for it. Dude, seriously, hearing both of you guys push, pushes me to do better. Like, I, like I, I, I don't want to be overhyping anything too much, but I'm all I'm gonna say is I'm really fucking pumped to hear that shit. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate. It. Yeah, I think it's cool. You know, we're all kind of in it, and you know, it's it's cool to have people that you consider your good friends, like working on the same shit as you. Uh, it kind of, you know, you, it, it puts a challenge to it, and if you're just it's fun to kind of compare your stuff and, and listen to each other's stuff. It just makes you want to do it more. So I think we're all pretty lucky with it, you know. Yeah, we did get lucky. And seriously, like, in more ways than that with our friends, I feel like uh, you can really take that shit for granted, having a, a good friend base, dude. Yeah, I think, is there a cop behind me right now? Uh-oh. I honestly can't tell. Oh, shit. I'm swerving. Should we park this fucking thing? I mean, I guess we can. Like, real time, I'm feeling... I took 100 mil... We both drank 100 milligrams. And I'm driving right now. I shouldn't admit that. Holy shit. I took 100 milligrams of... I didn't say what I took, though. There we go. Okay, yeah, I took 100 milligrams, and I'm, I probably shouldn't be driving right now. Wow. There's a person walking right now. But, no, wait. This is this is real. Should I... I think I should park this thing. Where, where do you want to park it? Um... Maybe by the school? Sure. I'm definitely down. Maybe. But if that's a cop behind me going to the school might be a bad idea. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, I'll just turn right and then just drive that way and find a place. I honestly wouldn't be too fucking worried about it. I'm not even convinced that's a cop, dude. <laughs> I fucking hope not. Jesus Christ. He's following my ass so close. Yeah, dude, it just fucking feels like that sometimes. I, I, you know, I hate being caught as, like, the fucking, uh, like, slow driver or just sort of, like, you know, because some, sometimes you're just not paying attention as much as you should be and fucking... I know, I was just a slow driver. driver. I was going too slow. I, I fucking, I hate being caught as I that feel like person because I, I get so mad at those people. Oh, I know, and, like, to a cop, I feel like that's just as noticeable as speeding. Like, if you're under... If you're going under the speed oh, yeah. limit, like, you're still stand out. Like, I was getting just kind of caught up in the car. Well, I didn't look at my dashboard one day. Oh, he passed. You know, this is one of those stupid stoner things that you just overthink. But I've always thought the verbiage speed limit was weird. Because it's like... It sort of, like, infers that you can go under that. So it's like, okay, what's the speed maximum? You know what I, I think- mean? What do you mean? Like... I don't get that because I think the limit is, like, that's as much as you can go. Yeah, but that... Okay, but that makes it sound like... But... I feel I like limit I, I and maximum are the same. They describe but the same like, thing. But, like... But what I'm saying is, like, that sort of infers that that's the max speed you could go, but that you can go under that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you think but maximum what, what, No, but, like, what is the speed, then... That you have to go oh, between so you, zero and you know, like so you 50. think they should also have a maximum, like on top, like a limit and a maximum. Yeah, like a five. It's like like a five mile per hour range that you can like kind of go between. I, think, I, I don't know if it's that much, but but you, you think know it should I mean. be even less than five? Because like there's just variation in the speed sometimes. I, I don't think that necessarily should be a thing, but that's <laughs> just something I've thought about. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely a stoner verbiage, thought. But I just yeah, I, it is kind of interesting. I think uh, I was about to say that I think they do it different on the East Coast, but I'm pretty <laughs> high, I'm pretty high right now, and I don't think that's actually true. So. Yeah, dude. I've oh my god, um, that drink was that has totally fucked me up. Do you? So you're feeling it too? Yeah. Well, I was pretty ripped to begin with too. Yeah, dude. I'm. There's always, and you guys, like, we're recording this right 
like when this shit is like setting in, you know, and like there's always this like maybe like fifteen to twenty minute period where uh, you're just sort of tweaking out from these. Fucking things. <laughs> they they well, really you didn't you. warn me about that before I fucking took it. Well, I mean, are you feeling it? Because I'm in it. We took it at the same time. Like right now, I'm in it. My ears are ringing in a little bit. What? I pulled over. I, we pulled over because. Uh, oh shit. Because I just I don't think I could drive right now. Like if a cop pulled me over, I'd be fucked. <laughs> Maybe not because of my driving, but if, like, I did one little thing wrong and he pulled me over and then he interacted with me, he'd be like, oh, this kid is fucked up. So I think we're going to, yeah. I think it's safer to, to be pulled over. Pull the keys out. Oh, smart idea. I don't like where we parked, though. I don't know. I don't think we should have just, we should I just, just can't at believe house. the high school looks like this. It's a pretty awesome structure. What the fuck, dude? Look at that fucking thing. I'm it glad, like it's a cool I'm glad we didn't go to this fucking place, though. Yeah, me too. I went to the same school as my mom. That's beautiful. You know, That's beautiful. That's kind of cool. That is cool, man. My mom went to Hazen High School. Shout out to Where Hazen. Where is that? It's in Renton. Interesting. It looks like a prison from the outside. I'm not, not like, I'm not just saying that, like, loosely. Like, it, I, I think the guy who designed it was, like, a prison designer. Legit. Wow. If you, go, if you Google who designed Hazen High School... I'm pretty certain in his catalog of shit he designed, there are also prisons. Are you pulling that out of your ass? I am not pulling that out of my ass. Like, and I, it overlapped into his school design. Like, they could repurpose that as a prison and you would never know that it was a school. Imagine if you're looking at that. That was a fucking prison in high school. Like, you would never believe that. You know, Fall City Elementary looks weird. I don't know if it looks like a prison necessarily. False? But it's Isn't just... that the one right next to the graveyard? Is it next to a graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, the thing... There's, like, a little fence dividing the school and, like, a full graveyard. Shut the fuck up. I'm pretty sure. No, they've got a big-ass park. Well, there's some... You know what? Oh, where they play well, Little League sports. But you know the building I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I, I do. Maybe, like, well, the thing is, I'm thinking of the one by the cemetery. It just looks like a big brick square. Oh, th- I'm, okay, I know that one. I'm not thinking. The one by the cemetery is... Uh... Where's the cemetery in Fall City? Oh, you know what? That's in Carnation. I'm thinking Carnation, Weez. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like where Tolt is. But it's not told. No, it's I, like a little pass told. And there's a fucking school that's like right next to a cemetery? Yes. Well, and like, if you were like standing in the cemetery, like, I'd say you'd probably be, you could like easily like throw a pine cone and hit the school. Like, the yeah, like, a pine cone doesn't carry very far. I was thinking of things you'd have to, like, to, like, measure how far it was. A rock, you could throw a rock pretty far, so that wouldn't be saying much. But a pine cone, like a dry, fluffy pine cone, not wet, not heavy, like, you would hit that shit. That's fucked up, dude. You know, I've only been to the North Bend Cemetery, like, one time. I've never been in that. You know, I... I sometimes forget to say, why'd you go there? I was with two people who I will not name, but... Oh, uh, so like old friends. Uh, yeah, it was just really fucking weird. Blonde and, hair, uh, one of them? Yeah. Yeah, but it was a chick. Oh, really? So not who, who you're oh. thinking of. Oh, um, I know, like she's... I know who you're talking about. I, what was I, the other bet one? You, I bet you don't. Was it the other one brown hair? Um... Black hair. Black hair and, and she... And a dude. Oh. Dude, <laughs> this story <laughs> gets more crazy. <laughs> okay, so... No, was... it was in the middle of the day. Oh. But yeah, I think I, it wasn't like anything fucking weird was going on. I just... Was she... Her name the same as the mascot of a school? No. You know who I'm talking about, right? No. Like the... You know, like what we were in middle school? Like, no. the bird? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, never mind. I have no idea who you're talking about. I can't believe you didn't get that from, like, our mascot in Twin Falls, the bird. I have no idea. You don't know who that is? Now I'm fucking confused, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm really stoned. What were we even talking about? 
in the first place? I can't remember. Dude, that's so fucked up. I genuinely can't remember. No, it was with, like, an old family friend. Oh, the cemetery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was there with, like, an old family friend. Oh, okay. Um. Anyways, uh, the only other time I've been there is when uh, I snuck out of the fucking house and you were driving Jackson's Honda. A uh, fucking fit, and we were gonna pick up girls right outside the cemetery. Why was I driving his Honda? Where was Jackson? He was in the passenger seat. He wasn't like drunk or anything either. He just felt shitty. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that detail really well because my parents asked why you were driving when I got caught and you dropped me back off. He just felt shitty. Yeah, that was a wild night. Yeah, I, I barely remember that, but I do remember it. There's just so many. Co- weird funny nights like that it's hard to recall them all dude i am so baked i know just Just trying to have that conversation Mm -hmm. took me for a ride these things are no joke yeah like is this the highest you've been in a a while Uh, yeah oh yeah dude i underestimated this thing (laughs) for sure it's like ah it's a fucking drink no dude they like i'm feeling it too like (laughs) <laughs> it's gnarly. You look the part, dude. I, I know. I feel the part. Um, ma- they're called major, hundred milligram drinks. Uh, get them cold if you get them because the, the the warm ones are way worse. Uh, Twenty bucks, well spent. It feels for a little while like it's not even weed. Like you're, it's getting into de- like weirder territory than that for a little while. But overall, really good. I have to piss so bad. Go piss. Take it with you. <laughs> Fuck off. I can I can hold it. Dude, I kind I kind of have to piss. Wait, I fucking pounded that thing. Yeah, me too. I don't yeah, drink water. I should drink some water right now. Who was bottom up? True. Cheers. 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 Oh yeah. Seriously, dude. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I feel like I've got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I hate that feeling so much, dude. That's funny. Yeah, I, uh, I put, did you see that pic I posted on the Sonics page today? The p- oh, of oh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. We talked about it. Oh, that's, that's, fun. that's right. Yeah. I, I, I'm, did you? That is so fucking funny. Yeah. I dropped a like on that as soon as I saw it. I've been losing followers. What? Yeah, you know what happened? A lot of bots followed me. Like, oh. follow, like follow for follow type of things, you know? And I just didn't follow them. And, like, I've been, I've been slowly losing them. Well, you're fucking going to get them right back, dude. I know. Like, I just got a... There was this one... Oh, yeah. I got a... There's some guy I need to DM who's got some followers that... Said he might want to do a collab, possibly. I guess. Well, dude, you know, just think about it. You haven't been at it that long. No, I haven't. Should I tell him my plan? No. You don't think so? No. Build some hype. No. Well, you know, you 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 do your thing. Well, I have a because uh, it seems like I don't know for sure if it's gonna happen because I might end up going to jail about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep that a secret. Oh, were you thinking of something else? Not necessarily. But it's not like I'm doing it. Just talking about it won't make me go to jail. But anyway, I'm I'm possibly thinking about handcuffing myself to Key Arena. <laughs> with, you know, some food and water and shit in a backpack. Um, and maybe having one of the boys out there in shifts, like, protecting me. Because I'll be defenseless. I'm handcuffed to a fucking stadium. You know what I mean? Like, there's people in Seattle that might try to fuck with me. So I would need, like, at least one guy, you know, who's got my back. And this could last, like, days, you know. It probably won't because I'll probably get... The cops might come, but... I'm going to handcuff myself to Key Arena in Sonic's gear and uh, demand that Adam Silver responds to my DMs. <laughs> That is so fucking awesome, dude. And I'm going to demand it, and I'll let myself go as soon as I get the DM, you know? And it doesn't even have to be 
anything concrete just f- for him to acknowledge the the tragedy you know what i mean he it hasn't been spoke on enough it needs to be at kind of the forefront you know i get those coronavirus and shit i feel bad for it for all the people and stuff and uh, it's gonna pass and you know like the sonics aren't gonna be here either you know so like i feel like we've been dealing with that pandemic in seattle for 12 years now <laughs> oh my gosh you know what I mean? Like I, I, I get that coronavirus. I, you know, I don't want to sound like it's not a big deal. Like it's a huge deal. But you know, like so is the Sonics. It can at least be spoken on. <laughs> a pandemic. It's been a pandemic in years. Seattle for the last twelve years. Wow. Tears have been shed by many, including me. I believe that. I'm not ashamed to say it. I love those fucking guys. And For sure, dude. We deserve them back, you know? Yeah, it was just a shady, shady deal, man. Well, they're coming back, I- I'm I'm guessing, about four years from now. You think? Well, the TV deal ends in 2024, I believe. And that's what they need. Oh, Like, right. if the, M- the NBA can't expand to new markets because, like, they have, like, TV deals, and I don't... Like, for certain reasons or whatever, but... Maybe That's at that the, point you can fucking be the commissioner of the league. The com- <laughs> we, if I became the commissioner of the NBA in four years, that would probably be one of the greatest stories of all time. <laughs> like, mo- movies would be made about that. Uh, like, I could probably be president of the United... Like, if I could become <laughs> the NBA commissioner in four years, like, there's nothing that's impossible in my world, but... I think he's got it unlocked for probably, like, the next 20 years. Who Who is the commissioner right now? Adam Silver. He's the guy. Oh, that, yeah. That, that was, you knew that. that. was so fucking big. Wow, how old is that guy? I got no idea. He's fit, though. Like, he could probably play ball. Like, like he could be, like, a, he'd he'd be could, a ballpark range. What do you mean, ballpark range? Like, is he old? No, he's not. Like, I was going to say, like, 20 I'll years. I'll look it up maybe. right now. We got fucking... That name just if sounds I, so If I had to guess, to he's got... I have no idea. He I, looked, I, I literally... He takes care of himself. Dude, like, I haven't even looked at his Instagram. I just tag him <laughs> on your posts. Uh, oh, my God. How old is he? That's fucking... He's awesome. 58. You would <laughs> never know. Look at this man. Wow. 50, holy shit, 58, man. Like, guy could play ball. Yeah. Well, well, you can sort of see it in his neck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you sure can. But you get, you get what oh, I wow. mean. Oh, that fucker's got to respond, dude. He's seeing my shit. He, you know what he looks like? Huh. Can you look something up for me? Of course. It's the gentleman from Buffy. He totally fucking looks like one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wheeze. <laughs> That's disrespectful, man. He does not. <laughs> Are you shitting me, wheeze? That's one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> these things are gross, man. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a similarity in, like, if you're really, you know, trying to see it, but that's not cool. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't think so? I mean, I kind of do, but, you know, I, I have respect for the commissioner. I wouldn't say that shit about him. All right. But that, All right. That, that is funny. But he's, you know, he's yet to bring the Sonics back. He's been a commish for a while. It's time. You know what I mean? It's fucking time. I, I'm done waiting. We're all kind of done waiting, you know what I mean? Like, I want to go see NBA basketball in my city. I've been deprived of it for so long. Now and I, I'm not just going to sit down and, and wait. I, I'm, I'm trying to at least get heard in some way. Get some acknowledgement. You don't have to, Seriously. You don't have to bring them back right now. I get you got four years on your contract, but just say. You, you can say you're going to, and then just do it in four years. Like, that's all we need. Just let us know that it's happening, and we'll be like, all right, we're, we're getting a arena remodel like that's not the issue anymore we're getting that i don't know when it's gonna be done but probably in four years it'll be done i don't know with that, seattle yeah, but serious. let's hope oh fuck man we're gonna be fucking going to basketball games i'm buying the day the day that it's available i'm spending whatever even if i have to get a loan 
Man. I'm spending whatever it costs to get season tickets. Where is the world even going to be at in four years? Fuck, dude. I hope it's, like, all squared up enough that we can see basketball again. <laughs> like, whatever's happening, I hope, it's, I hope we can see basketball again. Like, I'm done going to fucking Portland. Every time I want to watch a basketball game... I have to go to fucking Portland. You know, that that is sort of cool in the sense, though, that you're making a trip out of it. Yeah, but I'm not rooting for my squad. Like, at the end of the day, I don't even give a fuck what happens. I just want to see good... I just want to see good basketball. You know, when we went over my birthday weekend, I had a fucking ton of fun, and I didn't even, like, watch the game. No, I know. It's always fun going to a basketball game, but all I'm saying... It's like, I want to root. When I go to a game, I want to root. You know what I mean? And, like, when I go to a Portland Trailblazers game, like, I don't root for any particular team. I just want a team to go off, basically. Yeah. And do something cool. Like, that's just, like, see good basketball. I don't really give a shit who wins. And, like, I, that's what I don't like about it. Dude, that was a fun weekend, though, when we all went. We got to, holy shit. We got to do that more, dude. We got rowdy that night. In the hotel room, fucking Colvin. Mono. Can't believe we let him go with Mono. Like, I'm glad we did because no one got it, but, like, that's fucked up. He should have had to get his own hotel room and drive his own car and, like... I know. But even then, like, standing next to him in the game, like, I would hate to get Mono, dude. That was funny. Took his mask off the first night. He defied all of us so many times with that whole mask thing. Like, he's like, you try wearing this fucking (laughs) thing. You know, he just wanted to get that thing (laughs) such a funny time honestly yeah i got really really drunk that night i remember we were in the back of jake's civic i believe yep and uh this little two-door thing and i'm in the middle fucking seat in the back and i have realized you know everyone has that moment when they're drunk like i'm gonna puke Oh, and yeah, so yeah. I'm, I fucking tell everyone, everyone scatters and fucking jumps out of the car. I think I have videos of, of this puke that you're about to talk it, it, about. It is so fun. Dude, I was out there for what, to me, felt like 10 to 15 minutes, just with my head weighed on his hood, like rocking back and forth. And I was just saying to myself, I'm not going to puke, I'm not going to puke, I'm not going to puke. And then, oh, good call. And then... uh you fucking started taking a video of me, and you were like, happy birthday, we oh, so and then yeah. I fucking yacked, like, right on cue. There's, I have a lot of good videos of throw up, especially from the road trip. <laughs> Classic videos of throwing up. Dude, we, we gotta get the rest of the boys on here to fucking talk about that. Yeah, the road trip was, oh my gosh, that'd be such a fun thing to talk about. I mean, I feel like I remember so much of it, too, and I have a journal that I did from it that I barely No even, way! Yeah, I, don't, I only wrote in it for, like, the first two weeks, and then I stopped, because I just, I couldn't do it. I was didn't want to. Like, if I had, like, a homework assignment, I was just, like, taking pictures on, on my phone and videos, and, like, that was kind of my journal. Well, a little bit. D- didn't Jake have a pretty yeah, extensive Yeah, he, he had an extensive, like, I respected the shit out of him for how, like, meticulous he was. Every day, he would write, like, long shit. He has, like, a book worth of like shit that he wrote like multiple pages every day it's it's awesome like he can go back any date i want to read that so bad i do too i, I actually do too it's pretty sacred though i'm not sure because he you know there's he, he gets wrote personal really really personal you know what i mean and I, even with mine i didn't write in it for long but i definitely said some personal things in there and i wish i really wish i would have stuck to it like everyone told me at the time when my mom especially was like you're gonna want that yeah, you did that i'm like well i have pictures and videos mom same thing and it's like really not yeah so i think i oh, it's really hard to say we'll do that again because even back then we were kind of pop talking about the possibility of maybe doing it again but like i think like you know i think jake would be down I don't know if he's going to hear this, but I sort of think Jake would be the one that would find a way to make it work. He's just like, he's I like, so. he's Jake like that. Yeah, like from the outside. I think Jake would be down. And I think if Jake is down, Leo, maybe, you know, because he's not like super committed right now to a certain uh, like job. I think I think he's just kind of bouncing between a couple things, just making some money. Um, so maybe he'd be down and. If all three of us are down and Burr's but it's from the outside, how do you not agree to that? Fucking seriously. And I, I think it'd be really fucking cool. And, like, we've learned lessons from the first one. Like, 
it was like two and a half months fucking just living in a van. It, it was a really cool thing, but like we learned a lot of things along the way. And I think this next time we would even get like more out of it. Fuck yeah. The dude. most, the thing I would say I'm most proud of, like the decision that we made was bringing the scooters. For, for me personally, like having a scooter in a city is such a dope way of like transporting yourself like you could take it and like we were taking it on subways and buses and just like putting it in the van at the end of the night and like just riding between destinations like if we didn't have that i don't know what we would have done dude like that was the most fucking fun part of it was riding our scooters yeah you know and jake and lee on the skateboards of course which was dope Dude, you guys had nice scooters. Dude. Yeah, Jay Burke built them, like, with real scooter parts. Like, he gave us, like, big handlebars because we're not, like, little kids doing tricks. Like, he, like, put fat decks on them, big plush wheels, long handlebars. So, like, they just rode, like, on, like, it was on a cloud, and they were fast and really sturdy. Like, it wasn't no, like, Razor scooter. Like, these things were fucking, like, luxury. Yeah, you know what's fucking awesome is that you inspired when Leo, Brett, and I went to fucking California. Uh, well, I just happened to have fucking Brett's longboard in my in the trunk of my car for a minute. Oh, so dude. you guys rode around there too, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I had Ryder's little Razor scooter. Oh, fuck yeah. And dude, dude, the front was so fucked up. Like, the I, I can't even describe what was wrong with it, but every, like... <laughs> 30 feet, I'd have to get off of it and readjust the fucking front so it, you know, like the wheel was straight. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, we never really had any issues like that with with these ones, but that that was a really cool part of it. We, we, if we ever do it, I'm sure we will do that again. Oh, yeah, even like that, dude, one uh, with a fucking fucked up scooter like that, the best time that, or the second best time, I guess, that I had on that trip was... Uh, was scootering around LA. Yeah, dude, LA is a pretty fucking wild place, isn't it's it? It's gross. I, I don't know if I like it or dislike it. It's gross. I, I think I lean more towards <laughs> towards disliking it. Yeah, when I was when I showed up to the Walk of Fame, I literally thought it was fake. Yeah, it's I, you know my have you been to the East Coast at all? Uh like only, Boston, only New York. fucking Disney World. Oh, Where so guess, Florida? Yeah. That's Florida, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you ever get... If, when you go up east in your life, like Boston, um, New York City, like up in those... And those small towns even up there, like <coughs> it's a really cool part of of the country. I I would I think that you'd really like it. A lot of old like structures and like just really cool towns and shit. Yeah, dude, I... I uh, that was my favorite part of the, of the trip. Florida, we didn't really spend much time in, but... What I did, what I had in Florida, I liked it there. It was just like, I associate kind of some negativity with it because the worst night of the trip, for me personally, it just happened to be in Florida. Oh, that sucks. Like, it was like 98% humidity. Like, if it was 2% <sighs> higher humidity, it would have been raining. Like, there was like water forming in the vents, in the, in the fucking van and shit. It was so fucking uh, hot and humid and like, we are turning on the uh, the car every, like, 15 minutes, running AC. And eventually, I just... It was, like, 3 in the morning. I just got out and sat at a picnic table outside the whole night. And, like, waited till the morning. I, like, because it was so uncomfortable in the van. I just, like, sat at a little table. Oh, my God. That was the worst night. That was the low point. Like, I was like, fuck, I should just get a plane and get the fuck out of here. Like, but no, I wasn't actually going to ever do that, but... Definitely the the point where I was the most uncomfortable. <laughs> just happened to be in Florida, so it's really not its fault. Yeah, dude. When uh when fucking Brett Leo and I went to Eureka, it was so fucking cold that we were turning on the car every time for fucking fifteen minutes. But Leo was sound asleep. That was one thing I took away from about Leo that trip, like the whole first day, fucking slept it away while Brett and I took our shifts. And then, uh, whole second day, slept away while Brett and I took our fucking shifts. Each night, fucking got perfect sleep, no matter what seat he fucking sat in. Yeah, he's, he's definitely fucking like that. Yeah, you know, it actually, uh, worked out. We thought that the fucking, 
back was going to be the most uncomfortable, so I took it the first night, yeah. and it was definitely the best. We just flipped down the fucking seats, and you could put your legs in the, uh, in the trunk, and... My legs were so short that I could put, like, all my legs in there and have no problem. That's so sick. Yeah, I think in the van, the best place to be was in the front seat. Really? Dude, it was so uncomfortable no matter where you fucking were. But the front seat, at least, it kind of laid back. So you could, like, lay on your back with your legs just dangling off and sleep. So what was then? Explain the other seating arrangements or sleeping arrangements. If I remember right, then in the middle, like this you would, way. yeah, you would sleep across. Someone would like put something because this because remember the seats were individual. There was like a space in the middle. Someone would like put something there, and like lay across that. And wait, then, wait, wait, wait! I thought that seat was taken out. All four seats were put in. It? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. So they would lay across that, and then someone would sleep in the back. Like, two up front, one laying across in those two middle seats, and then someone in the back. And how was the back? <laughs> it was all bad, dude. But, like, because you had so much shit in the So back. much shit. So they were just laying on top of the shit? <laughs> just, like, trying to find a spot. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. Most of the time, I have videos on my phone of us, like, driving and, and Sam literally just laying on shit in the So back. that, did that go out on with, like, no problem? Like, no hiccups? Yeah, there, was a, there wasn't a lot of hiccups, man. Honestly, like, you'd think there'd be some fighting, but... The biggest, <coughs> the biggest fight I saw was over, like, a, a little food incident, but it, it started off playful, got a little serious. And, <laughs> but, you know, it was all good spirit. Like, there was no beefs at the end of anything. I, there, I honestly don't think any one of us, like, went to bed mad at each other. Fuck yeah. Once, you know. But like, d- you guys didn't even, like, trade spots. So oh, nice, oh, we, like... we traded spots. Like, well, like, yeah, like, some, I think so. Like, I don't, there, I don't remember if there was, like, a certain system to it, but, yeah, there was definitely, like, some, some sort of trading going on like one time sam literally slept on top of the van (laughs) i have video it was in connecticut if i'm not mistaken why he just wanted to i guess good for him yeah we were in a parking lot at a walmart and he literally oh that's a little (laughs) yeah yeah that's sketchy yeah very sketchy but you know birds don't give a fuck you know that and he just slept (sighs) slept on top of the van what a Fucking animal, yep. dude. I can't. <laughs> oh, birds. Yep. yep. I think in the morning we might have woke him up by driving a little bit. Or maybe that was at <laughs> night. But we definitely drove with him on the top of the van. Dude, I, I'm just at, like, I, I don't know what Connecticut looks like. But when you fucking said that, I pictured, like, some plain, some, like, grassy plain that the van is in the no, middle dude, of for the, some reason. the East Coast <laughs> is very developed. The, the Like, the plains, Kansas and Missouri. Interesting. Kansas and Missouri where I saw, is where I saw the most fucking plains that I've ever seen in my life. What about, like, going through, like, New Mexico? Oh, that was, that was the low point of the trip. <laughs> that was really? the, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was, like, the total low point of the trip because we had, like, just ran out of weed, and I think we were on our way to Vegas, and we knew we were going to be able to score some weed in Vegas, you know? Um, But we were driving through... Well, okay, so I think Texas... I'm I'm so fucked up. My geography, I don't know what's going on, but I think Texas is, like, the one that borders New Mexico, right? You're asking the wrong guy. All right, well, anyway, we, like, drove through Texas all in one night. Crazy. It would take, like, 14 hours, maybe. I don't really know how long, but super long. And then we got to New Mexico. We had no weed, and it really sucked because, like, there's nothing but just dead land. You know, like, nothing's grown in it. Nothing's living in it. Like, it's just existing, like, rock and nasty shit, and we hated that. And then... Of course, we had no weed, so we were headed to Las Vegas, and, like, we bought some weed from this guy, and, this, like, some really nice black guy in his F-150. We just hopped in, and he sold us, I think, a half ounce, and he was really cool, and uh, we found him on Craigslist. <laughs> oh, we got robbed in Texas, too. 
I, I forgot. I can't, I can't believe I forgot to say that. We tried to buy weed from a guy. This part, maybe partly was why we were so sour in New Mexico, but we tried to buy weed in Texas from this guy on Craigslist, and Sam handed him, like, 100 bucks, and he handed us a cigarette carton, and then just, whoop, <laughs> like, dipped out and got in his, like, PT Cruiser, and we were, like... Uh, driving next to him on the freeway, like, throwing flashlights and shit at his car, and he was, like, swerving around, and he, he got away and told us he was gonna come, like, choke us or something. Oh, my like. God! <laughs> yeah, like, some weird shit like that. And we just drove away, and then we got on Craigslist again and got the guy in Las Vegas. Wow. Yeah. Straight up that robbery, is so man. so fucked. <laughs> And I was just in the middle seat. I wasn't the guy that got robbed or the guy driving. I was just getting taken for a fucking ride. And Dude, a hundred bucks. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, Sam took it out of his thing, and, like, it was a big deal. And, yeah, that was pretty fucking crazy. Oh, my God. What a fucking shitty strip, huh? Mm-hmm. So then we mobbed through Texas for the rest of the night. Got to New Mexico. Then got to Vegas, and Vegas was sick, man. <laughs> I mean, we didn't gamble. We weren't 21, but we just, you know, smoked our weed and, like, walked through the casinos and fucking just walked around Vegas, and it was a really fucking cool night. Jake got, like, sick or something that night, and he slept in the van in, like, a Ross parking lot in Las Vegas, and, like, we scared the shit out of him. We came back, and, like, we're like, get, get him, get me the car, you know what I mean? And he, like, got out with his arms, like, totally up, like, ready oh, to fuck I'd us up. I'd be scared of the fuck. I know. I wouldn't be able to sleep. In a fucking, like, car parked in Las Vegas in a Ross parking lot. Like, Where do you guys sleep? Um, oh, Beth, or, oh, I'm not gonna say the name. You should maybe bleep it yeah. out. Okay, okay, cool. Um, yeah, but someone got us a motel. Fuck it. It, it was really cool. Um, that was, because uh, we were just gonna sleep in our car. Yeah, well, we're, we were, we're probably, we're gonna have to talk to fucking Burrs, too. About what? About fucking let this shit fly. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's not, not gonna, gonna just care. Just respect. Yeah, that's smart. Dude, it's your fucking story, though. That's hilarious. Yeah, there was that's a lot of good... such, like, a mystical experience to me. Best, best two and a half months of my life. Oh, I was so, I, when I came back, I was, like, institutionalized. Like, I was, like, kind of, like, wild, you know? Like, I didn't, like, want, like, being in a house, just, like, chilling. Felt really weird. You know what I mean? Dude, I mean, two and a half months of fucking anything. Stomping that's gonna be weird. I definitely wish we could have kept going longer. Like, I would do that for, like, six months, I think. That'd be, like, my limit. Holy fuck. It's not that expensive. If you can save up, like, a good amount of money... And the best thing is you can sell your the vehicle afterwards and get a lot of the, the money back. Oh, excuse me. Holy fuck! Yeah. yeah like, no, if you buy like a, a nice, really fun trip. Yeah, if you buy like a nicer vehicle, and you take it on the trip, and then you sell it when you're done, like get it detailed, get it cleaned up, tuned up, whatever, you can make so much of your money back. It'd be like renting. Yeah. It'd be cheaper than like renting a car. Oh man! Well, we can't even rent a car right now. <laughs> yeah, but still, you know what I mean. Like, Forty-five. Yes, the last thing. thing. Fuck that! I don't ever. I'm never gonna rent a car in protest of that stupid rule. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I honestly think it's one of those things where it's like, well, if you're gonna make that twenty-five, why is everything else twenty-one? Like, there to me, there should be a university, like, a, or it should be universal. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, why is, just make it 18. You know what I mean? I just think that's oh, how. Oh, well, 8, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm I, think, not, I think it should all be 21 or all be 25. And I'm not saying it should, so you I'm think, not necessarily saying you should have to be 25 to drink or smoke, but I'm thinking there's, it should be a universal thing. I agree. It's just, it's real confusing how they can put laws on it, but I guess that, it makes sense. Like, a 15-year-old shouldn't be able to carry a pistol or something. Oh, well, yeah. For sure. Dude, your f- fucking first AR was sick. Yeah, I wish I could go back, though, and do it different. I think really? I've told you. Yeah. 
Yeah, the only thing I really did right was the trigger, which is a guy's lead trigger. Really good. Um, and I like the brand Air Precision, but I made it too heavy, you know, way too heavy. Um, if I could go back, I'd take a lot of like the unnecessary metal off of it and just make it as light as possible. S slim it down a little bit, make it a little smaller barrel. Yeah. Just make it something like that. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, well, this, it's probably gonna be a while before I get my first strap. But I'm pumped. Dude, for what if day. you what if you just get it and I'll hold on to it too no. for you? <laughs> nice try. What? Why is that a nice try? I thought, I'm, that's a genuine offer. No. <laughs> yeah, but no. Fuck why? Off. Why? Why are you having such a reaction? Like, what don't you do? You, do you not trust me? Yeah, you were just telling me you're having block fever, so there's <laughs> definitely like a. <laughs> well, no, you're right, but I'm just saying I would never carry it. I would never shoot. I would never use it without no, your permission. No, I know. It's cool. I'll fucking get it one day. Well, because you have the money. I know you, you've stacked up quite a bit of money. Yeah. But you're doing well for yourself. I'm doing all right. Fuck yeah. I have zero. I have, yeah, zero dollars in my bank account right now. I'm not doing crazy, dude. By any means. What's your net worth right now? Oh, I don't fucking know. Come on. I don't fucking know. My net worth, if I, do I include my car or no car? No car. Like four grand. Yeah, me too. That's not bad. Five grand. That's not bad. <laughs> like we're, we could have a, we could rent a place for a while with that. Oh yeah. We could put our money together and for like maybe buy a house in in Tennessee. Like a real. <laughs> oh fucking Tennessee. There's really cheap real estate there. Oh man. Uh, you, like, Colvin and I being on the other side of that, dude, just hunkered down in North Bend. What? While you guys were on the road trip. Oh, you and Colvin being together. It was just like, it was just like us in North Bend, dude. And weird. Quante. And, yeah, and Quante and fucking Brett. And Brett. He was always hanging with his girlfriend. And Connor. And so. Connor. Connor Lynn. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Did you just forget Connor? <laughs> I thought you were talking about my cousin. And I was like, that's a weird <laughs> thing for me to bring up. Yeah, Connor Lee. Did cousin. you guys yeah. hang out at all? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely hung out. Like, Did you ever go to Austin's? No. Oh, uh, I don't necessarily want to say that because, you know, sometimes that just happened back in the day. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. yeah. Um, God damn it, I miss those days so much. But yeah, that summer was just fucking ridiculous. It was a lot of just like smoking on Cole's back porch, you know. Yeah, those were the simpler times, dude. I definitely miss those times. Like now, being in college and thinking about like a job and like your life and shit, I, I sort of hate it. Like I, I, I would way rather be like eight years old again. It's scary. Man. It's scary, dude. Like, I do not want to, like, be on my own. It's fucked up. Like, what am I going to do? Like, I'm nowhere near ready. Like, at, this, at the rate I'm going, I'm going to have to, like, live with my parents until I'm, like, at least 25. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's all right, though. It's, uh... It's fucking... Rough. Well, it's also just like we're in such a weird spot right now with the coronavirus. Like, what is shit even gonna look like in a month, let alone two months or three months? I just hope the casinos are open. Yeah. That's all I care about. I, I think, I don't know, dude. Like, let's just get like a vaccine or a fucking drug going that can work. I don't know. Like, what's, what's up with that? Like, don't we have the people to do that? Like, I guess they're working on it, I'm sure, but, you know, you'd think they could get it going. No, I don't know. I have no idea how long that shit takes. Me neither, dude. What a complicated field. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. I, I could never, I'm not on this, their, their level of anything. Like, they're, they're much, much more elite people than me, but you know what? We need people like that.
Seriously. And then you need the dumber people to do the other stuff. Like, not everyone can be a neur- neuroscience person. Like, you gotta fucking have garbage people, too. You say it all garbage people are stupid. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> of course not. Gar- they have. To, they see what they do? Like, can you imagine picking up cans with that fucking giant truck? That's impressive. Oh, my God. Yeah, those things look like... I remember, like... Low key being fucking afraid of those things as a kid. Of garbage trucks? Like walking out at fucking six in the morning when they're going by. Those things are just like so fucking. I'm such a small dude. But as a kid, those things were just so intimidating. I had really like irrational fears. I, I, the two things I was scared of the most were tanks and drafts. Shut the fuck up. Those, when I was, like, young, my two biggest fears were tanks and drafts. That's interesting. Can you elaborate? Yeah, like, for some reason, I was always, okay, th- it was always, like, in my room. I'd be in my in my little bed. Like, it's, like, 10 o'clock at night. The sun's out. You know, there's, like, little shadows. <laughs> and I'm just scared, like, a tank is going to bust in my room at any second. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I just had this fear. I'm just, like, waiting for a tank to bust in. And then, in, in, like, public, or, like, in nature in my yard when I was playing, or... When I, was, I was always scared I was going to see a giraffe. And, and giraffes <laughs> just, like, freaked me the fuck out. Like, when I saw them on, like, nature shows and, like, like cartoons and shows, like, oh, I'll fuck those things. Like, they're long necks. Like, and I saw this one, like, I think it was, like, Nat Geo type of thing, I think, when I was younger that uh, was, like, giraffes fighting with their necks. Like, they swung their necks, like, these giant fucking weapons. Oh, yeah. And just, they were, you know, they could take That's out trees. You could say they could take out houses. So I was just like, man, fuck these things. Like, one of the scariest things I saw from a young age. Like, wow. <laughs> I never thought of giraffes as scary. <laughs> you, you know, you know, I had a really weird fear. So, but when I was younger... My, to get into my parents' room, you had to go into my room. It was this weird thing. And the only other way to get into their room was through a sliding glass door that oh. went into the backyard. Yeah. And, uh, and I just had this weird fear that, like, all my worst, like, television villains <laughs> were, like, at that sliding glass door, like, Scooby-Doo style, like... Leaning out one after another, just waiting for me. That's so funny. like Jeepers Creepers. So you was like in there. you wouldn't go in that out of that fucking sliding glass? Oh no, I still did. Oh god, I, I still fucking. That, I remember there was one time, uh, there was a baby sleeping in there, and I was in the backyard playing, and I remember my I had a Tobey Maguire Spider Man toy, but the mask was in the room. And my mom told me, she was like, you better not fucking go in there, you know, like, and and get that mask, just play with it as is. And I went in there anyways, and I grabbed the mask and put it on, and then I fucking, I heard my mom coming, so I just went and hit the bathroom. And she got me. And she was so pissed. Yeah, that's, you know, she's, what'd she do? How how she punish her? I don't even remember, to be honest. I was pretty little. You know, when, when was that? Like, five or six years old, probably? Gosh, I really miss being that young, for sure. But, you know, there's still a lot of fun things now. Oh, yeah. Like gambling. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've Sports betting at the casino game. this year. Are you going to check that out, you think? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I'll put big money down. And I'll, that I'll, is going to be food. It'll be on games like I don't give a shit about. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, so you're biased. Not so I'm unbiased, just so like it makes me want to watch like fucking Tennessee versus Cleveland. Sure. You know what I mean? Like because, you know, I'm going to get a setup of like probably six screens. Oh, so you're doing some online shit. No, but I'm betting at the casino and watching it at my house. What? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, no, I'm confused. What are you talking about? You're betting at the casino, but you're watching it in your house. Yeah, I'm just going to bet the games at the casino and then go home and watch it. 
Oh, you do it beforehand. Yeah. I see. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I'm so fucking big. <laughs> Yo, dude, I'm, I'm really big, too. But, yeah, I'm, so I have... I already have three screens. And I think I'm going to, like, go on Amazon. And there's some, like, $99, like, 30-inch monitors. Just buy a couple of those. So how far in advance do they let you go down and do that? Is it like I'm not sure because it just got legalized three weeks ago. What do you think it's going to be? Like, do you think it's... I'll just go, like, an hour before the games. Fuck yeah. Like, 9 a.m. Because games are at 10. Just place my bet, drive home, get ready, get psyched. I got some money on the games, and I'm watching, like, six screens. Just, just fucking a degenerate yelling at my TVs, probably. My mom probably won't be proud of me. But I don't care. It's going to be fun. Are you going to bet some games? No. Really? No. Gambling is always so much better when you have somebody else doing it with you. No way, sir. Damn. That person was hauling dick. Our car was, like, shaking like like if a boat drove past us and we were on the lake. <laughs> it just, like, shook for a minute. Dude, I know we, we already talked about this, but look at that place. It's surreal, dude. Yeah. I can't... Oh, wow. Have you ever seen The Truman Show? No. Really? No. The Truman Show. It's... Okay, so it's like about... Do you know who's in it? Is it a Jim Carrey thing? Yep. And do you know the premise? No. Dude, it's really interesting. So, he lives in a dome that is made to look like a real world. It's got a real school-looking street, stop signs. It looks beautiful. And everyone in the world besides him knows it's a TV show. So Truman lives his life. And the show is about Truman. So they staged a whole world for him. And everyone there knows it's like a job. Like they clock into it's, like... It's like a big conspiracy? No, it's like a TV show. And they created like a world where the whole population in that little world they created knows that they're, like, working on a TV show and they're, like, actors. But Truman's the only guy that doesn't know. But that's what I'm saying. So it's a big conspiracy of, like... They, he, they like, planted him in this world. Yeah, they, plant, they birthed him into it. So his parents are fake. Yeah, so th- that's a conspiracy. Yeah, right? yeah, but exactly. So ju- what the fuck? And so he's just like, and he's got cameras on him at all times. He doesn't know, like even in his room, everything. And they just make a show about him, and like he starts to find out, and like escape it. He like sails to like the end of a wall. What the fuck? Yeah, it's an incredible movie. <laughs> wow. He, like, starts to find out somehow. I forgot, well, but... When did that come out? I think, like, the 90s. Sounds about right. That's hilarious. It's a really cool premise, though, right? That is really funny. You know what movie I think is just so overhyped? Huh. The Blair Witch. I've only seen that one time, but I wasn't that impressed or scared. I get what it did. You know, in terms of, like, the found footage shit, but... I really do not think that movie's scary at all. No. What's that light? I don't know. Should we drive? Should we start heading back to the pad? Is it the ghost light? It's, we're already looking at 58 minutes, dude. Wow. Even going. I still got pissed real bad. Really? Yeah. All right, should we fucking end it here then? Yeah. Sure, why not? All right, dude. Well, that was a fucking... Wow. Well, that was a fucking... Another good episode. Let's...